In this tutorial, let's use the physical modeling engine instead of the phase oscillator. We'll start with the initialize voice and add a pattern to it. I'm going to slow down the tempo so we can create a kick with a longer tail. Maybe modify the pattern a bit. Okay, that works. In Ultra Beat, only this last oscillator has the modeling engine, so let's turn it on. I'm going to set the exciter to type 2 and set the material pad to the top left corner. The lower half tends to sound very dissonant, so it's best to keep it somewhere in the upper half. The resolution at highest sounds cleaner. Lower values will introduce more dissonant upper harmonics to the sound. Let's make the envelope modulate the volume. Okay, it sounds louder now. Let's also bring down the pitch so it's more in the range of a kick drum. We can get some really clean subs with this engine. Keep an eye on your levels though. You don't want to be clipping here. Let's shape the amp envelope. I like that. Clean. Doesn't linger on for too long. Maybe reduce the decay further. That's good. You will notice opening up the filter doesn't affect the tone too much, as there aren't that many upper harmonics to begin with. Pushing up the resonance can introduce some higher frequencies in the sound. Kinda has an underwater vibe. We could use the high shelf to bring in some more highs. I'll turn it on. Yes, very subtle. Almost no change there. Not bad. This could work as an alternative to the basic kick, as it has a little bit more character. In the next tutorial, we'll give this kick a bit more higher frequencies to make it sound more full.